Who is Jesus? Who is he? Is he just a prophet? Is he just a good teacher? Was he just a good man? The Bible says he was more than that. The Bible says that he wasn't born of an earthly father. The Bible dares to claim that his father is God. Jesus dared to claim that he was God. Who is this Jesus? If you would picture him today the way they present him today in American Christian television. Jesus pulls up in a, a long, white, expensive Armani white linen robe. Hmm? With a nice golden chariot and 30 white steeds. Big dollar sign on the side of his robe. Big golden cross hanging from his neck. That's how they present him. But that's not the Jesus I read of in the Bible. Hmm? The Jesus that I read of in the Bible, he didn't come to give me a Cadillac. Hmm? He came to break the power of drug addiction in my life. Hmm? He came to take away the wickedness of my mind that couldn't think a clean thought if you washed it with Tide. He came to deliver me from my sadness. He came to take away my pain. He came to bind up my broken heart. He came to drive the devil from my life. He came to clean me up, pick me up, fill me up, preach me up, and take me to a place beyond the blue. He is my God. He is my Lord. He is my Savior. He is my righteousness. He is my everything. He is my King. He is my Lord. He is my Alpha. He is my Omega. He is my peace he is my joy he's my everything my lord my lord hallelujah 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 glory to god glory to god glory to god you've come along too late in the chapter of my life to convince me of anything less you weren't there when I was in the gutter, man. You weren't there when I was feeling so low that I couldn't even look up. You weren't there when I was so sad and no one else wanted to do anything with me or have anything to do with me. But Jesus was there with me. He picked me up. He wiped away my tears. He washed the filth of my life away. He put his spirit in my heart. He gave me his word. He washed me in his blood. And he called me. He clothed me. He prospered me. He blessed me. He gave me a wife. He gave me children. He's given me everything that's good and pure in this life. So don't tell me he isn't real. Oh, he's real, man. Hallelujah. 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 My God, he's my Savior. He's my Lord. He's my King. He's the Rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. He's Abraham's ram caught in a bush. Hmm? <laughs> He's Moses' staff that parts the Red Sea. He's the oil in the horn of Samuel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the manna that comes down from heaven. Hallelujah. He's the water that comes out of the rock. My God. Hallelujah. He's God. He's my Alpha. He's my Omega. Huh? He's the Prince of my peace. Hallelujah. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that when John saw him, he said, I need you to baptize me, man. He said, let us fulfill all righteousness. The Bible says when Jesus came up out of the water that the heavens opened. And a voice was heard, said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. 
The Bible says that the Holy Spirit came on him in the form of a dove, landed on him. And then he was driven, immediately he was driven by the Spirit of God into the wilderness to be tempted, tried, and tested. Not of some tiny little impish devil, but of Satan himself. We don't even begin to comprehend the price that was paid for our salvation. I don't understand it. I told my wife on the way here, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm not a professional anything. Idiot, maybe. <laughs> professional idiot. Seriously, you think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't know how to do this thing. If we don't have him, we don't have anything. Huh? How many churches have gathered in San Jose today and around this nation? Where the gospel isn't being preached. And people have come through the doors looking for answers and solutions to the problems of their life. And they get nothing. And they go home the same way that they came. Or most churches are so pristine and so pretty that, that anyone who has a problem wouldn't even want to come. Because they feel so unwelcome by those who claim to be the children of God. But God is calling you. God is calling me to be, what did he say? You are the light of the world. I'm not saying it well. So many people are hurting right now. The forces of demonic power have been unleashed on this nation in such a powerful way People are struggling with so many things in the church and out of the church. They are hurting. They're bound by drugs. They're bound by, by alcohol. They're bound by depression. Their, their marriages are a mess. They don't know what to do. The, the little child that they raised who they love with all their heart has suddenly become uncontrollable. Problems. They're unemployed. They can't pay their bills. And the world moves at a million miles an hour. And all they get on TV is prosperity preachers telling them to send them money. God help us. If I leave you with anything, it's this. I only know one answer. His name is Jesus. He's real. I met him. He's alive. Hallelujah. He's alive. You may feel like you're dead this morning. Twice dead and buried over. Wrapped up so tight in a grave cloth and buried in a tomb. And they've put a stone over your life. And they said, he stinketh, Lord. Religion doesn't want to go near that kind of relationship. Sometimes Jesus will purposely wait until you're dead and gone. And they've written you off. I was talking about it on the way home last night. I said, I don't think anybody's going to come back and hear me tomorrow. I was like way too honest with them last night. But Jesus comes up to the tomb of Lazarus. He's been dead. His sister says, he, he smells, Lord. He's dead. He stinks. There's a world out there that stinks. I talked to you about it on Thursday night. Jesus went up to the mountain, preached the, mount, uh, the sermon on uh, the mount, uh, the, what do they call it, the sermon on the mount. And then from there he comes down and he leads the crowd to a leper. Matthew chapter 8, look it up. He will take you high, but then direct you low. No one has ever been higher than Jesus, but he came down to people like you and me. Hallelujah. 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 He said, go and invite them for the wedding feast has been prepared. And the servants came back and said, everybody we went and 
told them to come, says they're too busy. 